Honorable the Leader of the Opposition. I think I want to welcome your remarks on the fact that some of the work of setting up this fund was designed primarily with the view of averting what is a critical recession that we face. And I think listening to your remarks, I heard you say quite that some of these have been led by the Minister of Finance, Dr. Uh, Pravin Gorda. So what I think is absolutely critical, Deputy President, I think both you and I can agree that establishing a fund and many of the initiatives that you've put forward about stimulating microenterprise, making sure young people are on board, can only survive in an economic climate that is particularly stable. And I think the point that you've made, and I want to request of you because there's this, there's this war, obviously, between Treasury and the presidency. And in fact, to use your own words, Deputy President, you said, we can't be operating with a government that is seen to be at war with itself, which I agree with you. So what I'm more fascinated in learning, if funds like this are going to succeed, and the point that you've also made, which is to say, they must depend on private sector involvement and companies such as Future Growth are part of that. So what I want to know is, Deputy President, what are you going to do to ensure that this war can be put to bed? Because surely we can't continue an economic climate such as this one. The war between the presidency and treasury can't carry on. So how are we going to ensure that it is stopped and that ultimately, like a similar crisis you've described around HIV, we can deal with the crisis of unemployment, which nine million of our people can't find work, and they must come through microenterprise. So what deliberate steps are you going to take to ensure that we stabilize our economy and stop this war between Treasury and the, pri and, and the, and the presidency? The Honorable the Deputy President. Clearly, uh, the creation of a conducive climate for investment to take place and for our economy to grow requires that all entities in our country, uh, both state entities and non-state entities should work well because the democracy that we have in our country is a multi-dimensional democracy. It also has an impact. It, it also includes non-governmental entities. It includes governmental entities and uh, the events of the past few weeks have been a concern uh, to many South Africans. Many South Africans have been concerned about that. And we've called, we've called for all those who are involved, all those who are involved to take care that whatever they do should not lead to destabilizing our economy, should not lead to getting people to believe that the government is not functioning well. And we've also called on all and sundry from making wild and sensational statements about whatever they may perceive is happening. Because it is the statements that also exacerbate the situation. And we like to believe that the processes that are now underway to deal with this matter will put this matter to bed and we will be able to proceed forward uh, in, in a way where there is decorum, in a way where uh, one entity of government is not at war, as I said, with another entity of government. So that is our objective, and we would like to see government entities functioning well. But similarly, we would like to see all other non-governmental entities that may feel tempted to join the fray, resisting from doing so, or desisting from doing so, so that we can have a situation of proper decorum as we proceed to manage affairs in our country as well as, as the economy. But more importantly, uh, honorable leader of the opposition coming to your, the, your question, I would say that yes, we're taking all measures to ensure that the economy of our country grows. And indeed, yes, the Minister of Finance and a number of business leaders are involved in setting up structures. This is not the only fund that is being set up. 
There are quite a number of initiatives that the Department of Treasury and indeed other uh, state-owned uh, state uh, ministries that are involved uh, in the economy are involved in to make sure that we do continue focusing on job creation, focusing on the growth of our economy. Thank you very much.